Cool Armenia win Eurovision 2024 mm -hmm. Let's see Hey yo, hi, I'm Max, I'm a Eurovision director from France since many years now and today we're gonna continue a road to and finish this road to Eurovision 2024 which takes place in Malmo in Sweden after a successful reign of Lorraine with her song Tattoo Hoo Hoo and today it's all about Armenia, it's actually the last song I'm gonna react to uh, the last song we all know from Eurovision 2024 uh, of course these two other songs from Israel and Azerbaijan but personally, and it's only my opinion, please I ask you to respect it as I respect your choice too. I'm not gonna react to these two songs, I don't feel uh, safe to react to it, but I also, for personal opinion, don't want to react to it, so that's it. It's a aparté, as we say in French. But today it's all about Armenia. Armenia, oh my god, this country is one of my favorites at Junior Eurovision Song Contest, but quite recently also from Eurovision Song Contest. They're always bringing some something which is quite interesting and quite excellent so I'm really curious to see what they're gonna propose this year because they don't disappoint me since many years now so I'm really uh, excited to discover what they're gonna propose. The song is named uh, Jaco, Jaco maybe, Jaco, I'm gonna see the presentation during the song, I never heard the song before. Uh, from the artist, it's a duo I think, La Daniva, so I can't wait to discover them, I never heard about them before, it's really like a total surprise for me and total first time reaction to the song, to the artist too. Uh, if you have more information about the artist and the song, don't hesitate to share in the comments, I just read like small description about the meaning of some lyrics. I, I think she's talking about the fact that she wants to dance freely and, and that she doesn't care about whatever people think about what she's doing, what she's dancing about. So that's only the few things I read, so I'm not sure about that. So I will appreciate some more description in the, the, the comments, please, about the artist, the discography, and also the song if you have. I would really like to read it. Yes, thanks. So now I recommend you to subscribe, please, to my YouTube channel because I'm doing that on my free time and I need your support, definitely. I would also really appreciate if you could follow me on Instagram at Max, it's Max Vision actually, and also on TikTok because I'm doing my Eurovision creation challenge like each year. And I begin with Raven and Veronica from Slovenia, but also Luke Tag from Sevastopol from Lithuania. And, and yes, I can't wait to see your reaction about my creation. If you like it or not, don't hesitate to share it, it will mean a lot for me. Thanks. And now, stop talking and let's go finally. Yes, reacting to the song. Let's go. Okay, let's go, Armenia. Ooh. Hi. Okay, music. <laughs> Epic. Oh, beautiful she is. Wow. Oh! Oh my god, the vocals here. Okay, la 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 I think. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting like ethnicity at no sound that I would, could really enjoy. Yak Jaco. Jaco. Okay. Get it with the title. Oh! Hey, hey, hey. Okay. In fact, full of it. Oh, but we're getting like much more traditional sound and music that I was expecting and modern sound. That's cool. And we don't have that for the moment at Eurovision. This is cool. Okay, I'm enjoying that. So she's speaking and singing in Armenian. I'm not wrong about that. This is cool. I like that. Sing in your language. Thanks, Armenia. The music video is cool too. I really appreciate. <laughs> la 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 la. Easy to remember. Easy to sing. It's definitely memorable. This song. <laughs> I like the humor a bit. Yes. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, the chicken! <laughs> okay, I could really enjoy this instrumental part on the original stage. <gasps> Bringing so many cultural elements, I love that. Oh! Bridge? Already? I could see that in a huge arena, and the arena responds so much to this song. Oh! Yes, it's definitely more traditional, 
But for the moment, I, I don't dislike it because we don't have a lot of songs like that this year for Eurovision. La la la, I like, as is a positive vibe about it. I really enjoy that. <laughs> okay, party song a bit, yes? Dance! La 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 la. Okay, I get the feeling, the vibe. Armenia, I don't disappoint. Okay, La Daniva. Wow, Armenia, this song is definitely like a traditional banger music and I, I really like that. It sounds different from what they proposed in the recent years, but this is cool. They still are able to surprise me. Uh, they are and they look really talented, this duo of artists, uh, the, the one who, who plays the instrument, which feel definitely like traditional. I really appreciate that. I could see like this moment of the Eurovision, say really getting like epic and one of the, the, the footage I could remember the most from Eurovision this year. And the singer, I really like a thing about her, it's a humor. She feel like really funny a bit, but really joyful. And I really like to see this happiness and this kindness on her, uh, on her face, I mean. And yes, I, I really appreciate her in this music video, so I can't wait to have a live performance, but I, I think and I could and I could trust them and I could expect a, a beautiful live performance, definitely. I'm curious about how they're gonna stage that, uh, because it's a traditional more music and sound, so it's gonna be interesting if they're gonna make like a traditional staging or if they're bringing like a modern staging with this traditional sound, it could be so interesting for your vision. And definitely I'm really thankful for Armenia to, to send us this, a song like this because we don't have a lot of traditional banger this year at Eurovision. I, I think it's the only one actually. And we kind of lost a little bit this type of sound. Song. Maybe, yes, it doesn't feel like as modern song we could listen on the radio everywhere, but there is still something that is a vibe that I, I know like European people could really enjoy it and really share it. And, and, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna love it. That's it. For the moment where I could see this song in my personal top, uh, it's the last song, so I need time to, to di digest it and, and to really listen it more, to really enjoy it and to be sure where I'm gonna place it in my top. But for the moment, definitely in my top 20. In my top 10 for the moment, I'm not gonna say yes, but it could enter my top 10 in a few weeks, a few days now. But I, I definitely like it for me. It's definitely gonna qualify for the final, I'm sure about it. And, and yes, I really appreciate it. What do you think about the song, about the music, the artist? Tell me everything in the comment section. Do you think Armenia uh, will qualify for the grand final? Do you think they could win Eurovision this year? Don't hesitate to share your opinion. Be respectful to the artist and between each other, please. And, and be kind also. And I will see you really soon for a new reaction video about, I don't know, because it was the last song I think we have from the Eurovision right now. Uh, maybe I'm gonna react also to the rhythm version of Malta song. But yes, that was the, the last song. Oh, I'm a bit sad. No, I'm not sad because there is so many good songs this year. Yes, that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you soon. Au revoir. Et à bientôt. La 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 la.